In this video, we will see how to enable JSON Web Token Authentication. I am inside the API Connect Manager module inside the services workspace. For this demo, I have already published API to API Gateway as well as to developer portal. The first step before deploying or adding the policy in API Connect Manager is to select the Open ID Connect provider. You can select FI Big IP Access Policy Manager, Okta, Auth0, Ping Identity, and more. For this demo, I'm using Azure AD as my Open ID Connect provider. Now let's go to the Action tab and click Edit Proxy. Under the Advanced tab, let's go to the Policy. Scroll down, select the JSON Web Token Association, and click Add Policy. There are two ways to specify the JSON Web Key Set source. One is to enter the URI or entering the web key sets itself. For this demo, I'm going to copy paste the URI location from Azure AD Open ID configuration. Then select or specify the cache. By default, it will be the 12 hours. You can modify it based on seconds and minutes. Next under the JWT settings, Select the header prefix. By default, it will be bearer. You can modify it to header or query. Then customize the error handling code. By default, it will be 403 for authentication failure and 401 if there is no authentication provided. And click add and save and publish. Great. If you're using Azure AD as your Open AD Connect provider, there are a few things you need to make a make a note of. I'll show you in my Azure AD account. Let's go to the endpoint under the app registration and you need to copy or paste this authorization endpoint as well as token endpoint in your notepad. Then copy paste your client ID or tenant ID as well in your notepad. The next one is uh, go to expose an API and if you don't have a scope already, create a scope, copy paste this link in your notepad then if you haven't created a secret, create a secret and copy paste this value in the notepad. Now let's go to Postman and test this out. In the Postman, create an environment and add all the variables which we discussed now and then save. And let's open another tab and copy paste the, your application URL endpoint from your API which you uploaded to developer portal uh, here and then select authorization and select the type oauth2.ho then uh, comes uh, the header prefix since we select bearer mention as a bearer uh, then copy paste the authentication url the token url the client id and the secret as well as the scope once that all is done and go to get new token access token and click that once that is authenticated and authorization successful, there you go. It will generate a new token and you can use that token for our authentication purpose. Then let's see, we want to get this for animals. Let's, let's see the result. Yep, it is working. So this is how you enable the JWT authentication in API Connect Manager using, your, using the OpenID Connect provider.